Imagine living in a city where a simple walk across the street could cost you your life. Where a concrete wall divides not only your city, but also your family, your dreams, and your freedom. The Berlin Wall wasn't just a physical barrier. It was the darkest symbol of the Cold War. A scar at the heart of Europe that kept the world on the brink of disaster for nearly three decades. Built on August 13, 1961, the Berlin Wall quickly became the most visible and controversial symbol of the Cold War. This 155-kilometer barrier not only physically divided Berlin in two, but it also represented the deep ideological divide between the Communist East, led by the Soviet Union, and the Capitalist West, supported by the United States and its allies. Its construction was a direct response to the massive exodus of East German citizens to the West, a flow that threatened to destabilize the communist regime. The significance of the Berlin Wall lies not only in its role as a physical barrier, but also in its psychological and social impact. During its 28 years of existence, some 5,000 people attempted to escape, often using ingenious and dangerous methods, though tragically many lost their lives in the process. The wall didn't just separate families and friends. It also symbolized repression and state control in the Eastern Bloc, while serving as a constant reminder to the world of the fragility of peace in post-war Europe. The construction of the Berlin Wall in 1961 was a direct result of rising tensions between the Soviet Union and the Western Allies after World War II. Located in the heart of occupied Germany, Berlin became a focal point of conflict between these powers dividing the city into sectors controlled by the Soviets in the East and the Americans, British, and French in the West. The coexistence of opposing political systems in the same city in the context of the Cold War created an atmosphere of mutual distrust and rivalry that made drastic measures inevitable. One of the main factors that led to the construction of the wall was the massive emigration from East Germany to the West. Between 1949 and 1961, some 2.7 million people, mostly young and skilled workers, left the GDR in search of better opportunities in the West. This massive exodus not only weakened East Germany's economy, but also undermined the credibility of the communist regime, which seemed incapable of holding on to its own population. The East German government, under pressure from the Soviet Union, decided to act to stop this brain drain. Their solution was to erect a physical barrier to prevent people from crossing into the West, using the excuse of protecting the population from fascist infiltration. The real motivation, however, was to prevent the steady loss of workers and professionals who would weaken the socialist state, thereby consolidating their control over the population and preventing any attempts at uprising or escape. In its original form, this monumental structure began as a simple barbed wire fence erected in the early morning hours of August 13, 1961. Over time, however, it evolved into a much more complex and formidable structure. The final version of the wall, completed in the 1980s, consisted of two parallel reinforced concrete walls, approximately 3.6 meters, 11.8 feet, high, separated by a strip known as the Death Strip. This middle section was riddled with traps and obstacles designed to make any escape attempt extremely difficult. The structure of the wall included a number of security features designed to make it nearly impenetrable. These included an anti-vehicle trench to prevent cars from crossing, watchtowers where guards kept a constant watch, and an alarm system that would go off at the slightest contact. At its most fortified point, the wall had up to 12 separate sections, including additional walls, electrified fences, and paths for military patrols. Watchtowers were a key component of the wall's design. Equipped with searchlights and automatic weapons, these towers allowed guards to monitor large areas of the border at all times. The evolution of the Berlin Wall from a makeshift fence to a militarized structure reflects East Germany's determination to keep its population under tight control and its willingness to take extreme measures to prevent people from fleeing to the West. The official checkpoints and border crossings along the Berlin Wall were the only places where travel between East and West Berlin was allowed, albeit in a very limited way. 
One of the most iconic was Checkpoint Charlie on Friedrichstrasse, which became the main crossing point for Allied military personnel and foreign diplomats. Surrounded by fortifications and closely guarded by armed guards, this checkpoint was the site of tense confrontations and symbolized the division of not only Berlin, but the entire world during the Cold War. Access to the checkpoint was strictly controlled. East German citizens were not allowed to cross into the West except in rare cases, such as humanitarian situations, or with special permits, which were extremely rare. On the other hand, West Berliners also faced severe restrictions when trying to visit the East. Only diplomats, government officials, and certain foreign tourists could cross relatively easily, but always under the watchful eye of border guards who meticulously checked documents and inspected vehicles. In addition to Checkpoint Charlie, there were other lesser-known border crossings, such as the Glienicke Bridge, also known as the Bridge of Spies, where prisoners were exchanged between East and West. The Berlin Wall, despite its imposing structure and constant surveillance, was not enough to stop the ingenuity and desperation of those trying to escape the oppression in East Germany. The methods of escape were varied and often extremely dangerous. Some of the most famous attempts included digging tunnels under the wall, such as the famous Tunnel 57, through which 57 people managed to escape in October 1964. These tunnels were dug in precarious conditions, in constant fear of being discovered by the authorities. Another daring method used by some East Germans was the use of improvised hot air balloons to cross to the West. One notable case was that of the Strelzik and Wetzel families, who in 1979 managed to fly over the wall in a homemade balloon, traveling more than 28 kilometers before landing in freedom. This type of escape required not only technical skill, but also extraordinary courage, as any failure could have resulted in tragedy. The Stasi, East Germany's feared secret police, played a crucial role in maintaining state control and suppressing any form of dissent. With a network of informants and spies that infiltrated every aspect of daily life, from the workplace to the family circle, the Stasi closely monitored the population, looking for any sign of behavior that could be considered subversive or indicative of an escape plan. This pervasive surveillance created an atmosphere of suspicion and fear in which anyone, even a friend or neighbor, could be collaborating with the regime. The fall of the Berlin Wall on November 9, 1989 was a monumental moment in modern history, symbolizing not only the end of the Cold War, but also the reunification of Germany and the triumph of freedom over tyranny. This event marked the beginning of a new era in which the opposing ideologies that had divided the world for decades began to crumble. Today, the remnants of the wall stand as a powerful reminder of that dark time, and its legacy remains a warning of the dangers of division and a celebration of the human spirit yearning for freedom. Do you know what will never fall? The content we have for you. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and check out all the videos we have for you. See you next time.